Okay, hello Pisces. How you doing? Three cards spread, three cards spread, okay? It may if more cards come out, I'll take the because I feel like you guys may need to hear a message. So as long as it's not that many cards, okay? So a three card might end up a five card spread, okay? All right, it is a collective for different individuals. Okay. So if it's resonating with you, get you guys. Switch it to how it resonates, okay? Welcome to the new viewers I have. Welcome to my channel. I'd love to have you as a subscriber, so please subscribe. Thank you. All right, you guys, please like, share, and subscribe this video as well, okay? Holy Spirit, show us Pisces energy. Three cards, please. Okay. We came out quickly. Okay, so um, three of wands. Okay, somebody may be turning their back on you, Pisces, or this is you turning your back on a situation. Okay, um, King of Swords, you're standing your ground, or you need to stand your ground in a situation, or you see somebody that's standing their ground in, in a situation, or there's a Libra in your energy that you're dealing with air font card okay um you you might need to set some restrictions on the situation um some guidelines somebody may need some counseling you may need counseling okay or you see somebody is needing counseling or you have marriage you're thinking about marrying someone or if this is somebody thinking about you or it's a course in your energy okay So oh, let's see. Hold on, guys. Let me see if my card, my thing loaded. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Holy Spirit, clarify this three of wands and Pisces energy. Down there. Clarify this three of wands and Pisces energy. Okay. Hmm. Okay, you need to use your wisdom. You're being told a situation you're turning your back on. You need to use your wisdom. Be wise, okay? Be wise, okay? Before you do it, use your wisdom, okay? Think. Think before you actually turn your back on whatever it is you're thinking about turning your back on for whoever I'm talking to. Three of swords, okay? Okay, you may be going through a separation with someone. It's somebody you're thinking about separating from. Yeah, you're being told. Use your wisdom. Think before you make that move. Okay? Okay, find creative ways to fix it. Okay? Because you're being told this can be fixed. Okay. Use your wisdom before you walk away. Holy Spirit, clarify this. Three of Swords and Pisces energy. And okay, we're gonna clarify this three of swords. Clarify this three of swords and Pisces energy. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. At least okay. And it may be from a Scorpio. This may be a Scorpio. Or this situation is emotional. This person is highly emotional over you. Okay, the sun card. All right, you you make this person happy. You make this person happy. Queen of Pentacles. This person is worth you working on the relationship with. And this may be um, a Taurus, Scorpio. They may have Scorpio in their chart, or you have the Scorpio in your chart. But it's maybe a Taurus. This person is worth you working on the relationship with, okay? All right? And if this is a cross watcher, if it's you, yeah, okay?
So if that's your advice, work on it before you walk away from it, okay? All right, so next is the King of Swords. Holy Spirit, clarify this King of Swords. Stand in your ground in the situation, or there's a Libra in your energy. Okay, yeah. Somebody's dealing with a Libra. You're being told this Libra is stealing from you, or they're doing something behind your back. This is the Seven of Swords. This is thievery. Okay, so you have a Libra that's, that's um doing something behind your back. They're being sneaky. They're doing something sneaky behind your back. The chariot, and they're trying to get away with it. They're trying to move forward in a success. Let's see, the chariot. They're trying to be successful at getting away with whatever they're doing. Holy Spirit, clarify the chariot. Um, six of cups. Okay, with somebody that they're fond of. This is with somebody else. And with two cancer cards here, it may be with a cancer person. Okay? Strength card. They're trying to heal things with a cancer. So they were dealing with a cancer in their past. So they're trying to heal things with the cancer behind your back. Holy Spirit, clarify the strength part. They're having open. They're just talking to them though. They're they're not because this person they're the distance from them. This chariot card they have to travel to get to this person. So they're probably just talking to them online. It's somebody from their past. The the six of cups. Okay, they're fond of this. Cancer. All right. Or it could be verse vice that this person could be um fond of them and trying to heal things with this Libra, okay, behind your back with your your with your person, okay. And maybe your person is standing their ground with them. They're they may be <laughs> fighting them off, have their guard up fighting them off but they, they're continuously trying to um get through to your person okay they want forgiveness from your person this is also strength card card of forgiveness so they also are wanting forgiveness they want to heal things as well so it's either your partner doing this or the other person doing it okay holy spirit clarify the strength card and um i see energy All right, yeah. Um, eight of cups. Okay, your person may have walked away from them in the past, or they walked away from your person in the past, so that's why they're back in your person's um energy. They're trying to get back with your person. All right, and your person is talking to them behind your back. They're they're having conversations with this person behind your back, even though they are standing their ground with this person because they have you. But they're still dealing with them behind your back. Talk to them on the phone or online. Okay. This person walked away from your person in the past. Okay. Your person may not even told you about this person. To see the moon card. Okay. So whoever this is, so let you know what's going on. Paraphone card. Okay. Marriage. Somebody needs to um set some guidelines. Somebody needs counseling. Somebody's thinking about getting married to someone. The Holy Spirit clarifies the hair from heart. The world. Okay, so somebody you're married to, Pisces, you may be married to a Pisces. You're going through a cycle with. You're going through a cycle in your marriage, okay? That cycle is ending, okay? All right. 
fast forward, you might have been depressed. This cycle you were going through with your person, you were depressed. The situation had you depressed, whatever it was. Maybe your person needs counseling or you guys need counseling. Maybe it's saying you need counseling in the marriage um, for the cycle to end. And this situation has you depressed, whoever I'm talking to. Okay? Yeah, you're being told there's counseling needed before um, while you're going through this cycle. Okay? You two need counseling. Okay? This situation may have you depressed. Four of Swords. Okay? Seven of Wands. Okay? You guys may be doing a lot of fighting. You have to fight your person off. Or they have their guard up with you. Your person. And you've been waiting patiently. Trying to be patient in this situation. Okay? You're tired of the fuss and fighting and disharmony in the, in the marriage. It's exhausting. So you're you're being advised to get counsel. Holy Spirit, clarify the um five of wands. Clarify the five of wands. Okay, yeah, yeah. The tower moment. You guys are going through a tower. Okay, it's a tower. Oof. Holy Spirit, clarify the tower. And the divine could have brought this tower in. That's why you're going through this. The divine may have brought this in to you guys. Holy Spirit, clarify the tower. The change thing. Maybe so you guys will get counseling. The emperor. Okay, so so the situation can get can be taken control of. The tower moment had to set in, so the situation can change. Okay? So you could do some inner reflecting on yourself and your partner as well. Both of you. So things could change. It's how moment we had to sit in. Okay? So this is this this situation right here. Once you guys get to counseling, you guys will be okay. Things will change. Holy Spirit, clarify the info card. Okay, um, seven of cups. Your person may have seen you having a lot of options. They may have thought you had options. Okay. Four ones. Well, you need to get rid of some options that you have that are in your life. So you can gain balance back in your relationship. Because your partner may have seen you having a lot of options. So when you get rid of these options, you can gain balance back. But you guys also need counseling. You need to set some restrictions. Some restrictions need to be set in a relationship. Okay? Some boundaries. You guys need to set boundaries in your relationship. Okay? And respect respectable boundaries as well. Okay, so somebody's somebody's feeling like they're not getting the respect that they should have in the relationship. In the marriage. <sighs> yeah, so whoever this your partner is feeling like you have too many people involved in you guys' marriage as well. Could be family. Could feel like you have your family involved in the relationship and whatever's going on in your relationship. They're feeling like family, you have, you shouldn't have your family involved, but you shouldn't. Because the eight, four of wands could mean that too. Okay. Holy Spirit, show us some messages. So these are love oracle cards. That was the end of your spread. So we have love oracle cards or some love messages. Maybe get some advice. Show us some love messages for Pisces. Show us some love messages for Pisces. Okay. Sexual union. 
sacred union, okay? So I said sexual, so it could be sexual, something sexual going on in here, okay? So maybe the partner not feeling like they're getting sexual needs <gasps> or you're thinking the person is out there running around with these options. Okay, sec sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. There you go. Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. Okay? Wow, that's deep. That's just for this reading. Some advice. Okay, some soulmate cards. I'm going to throw on here. This one's ready to come out. I'll get it. Never give up on something you really want. Okay? Never give up on something you really want. Okay? So that was that first spread. That was for that person that I read that first spread for. All right? Okay. All right. If you really want it, don't give up on it. All right, you guys, that's the end of your read. I hope you guys enjoyed the read, Pisces. I hope I can help you guys. Peace, love, and happiness to you guys. Please subscribe, like, and share this video, okay? You guys be good, okay? Until next time.